Greetings, Marsh here, and welcome to episode 5 of my modded Factorio playthrough. We've just got some burner science to finish up, and then we can get started on red science. Enjoy. Um, there's basic fuel processing. I'll just research that just because. Um, I'm not going to use it because I think that the processed fuel is way too OP and has too much vehicle acceleration. Um, but unfortunately, I tried to disable it in the AAI options and it crashes the game. It won't load properly, so it, it has to be in there. So I'm just going to research it to get it done with. Just keep in mind, we're not actually going to use it for anything. I want to keep this stocked as well as possible with the necessary resources. Now we can start dropping in these electric labs and getting rid of the fuel inserters. Hmm. Okay, so we're actually short on copper now. Okay. Let's make a blueprint. This. Good enough. Let's do it for copper. Unfortunately, we're going to have to put this together by hand. Okay, let's do another one. Let's put this in the same block. set this to two again so the ratio changed for drills that we need six of them now but otherwise the recipe is the same Just running out of copper, right as we have everything built, almost everything. Not quite all the power poles. Oops, do have to change this recipe though. that until we actually need it. So we have fluid handling. Uh, skip. Let's do the minor drills. That will help. That's the big research. 100 units. How are we doing? It's doing alright. It's basically staying caught up.
Hey, I can build one more. Ugh. Is that going to require uh, 30 plates? 30 copper plates to build that? Yep. I guess I should have kept the kept the line going even though we didn't need the plates. I forgot how much we needed for those burner labs or the electric labs. No problem. Electric use is okay for now. I don't think we're ever really going to need more than one of these turbines because they're not very energy efficient so you definitely want to upgrade out of them as quickly as possible. Zap, zap, zap. Taking up much more electricity than the inserters now. However, that will change once we have these electric miners. Going. Uh, I will just research this just for the heck of it. Should only take a few moments, really. Now we have our electric miners which require the burner miners plus lots more resources. So they're twice as fast. They have a minor area and also they produce less pollution. So they're twice as fast, but produce less pollution and almost half the amount of like uh, energy, much, much better. So we can go back here and we can upgrade this to electric drills. And this will change the recipe. You see, now we only require two for iron and three for copper. that when we're ready for red packs but for now we can do basic fluid handling which unlocks pipes in the offshore pump can't really do anything with it yet but we will soon so I believe it was two yes don't need this coal extension anymore. Is that doing for electricity? <laughs> yes, it is using quite a bit. Well, 
Well, since we're getting by with four, then it means we probably only need two electric miners. Kind of move things around, probably make it a little more uh, appealing to look at. go. We have electrified the mining. We're getting lots of leftover coal. Looks like we have a nice selection of resources here. build some armor. Where's the armor hidden? There we go. Does quite a bit compared to not having any. It's still weak, but better than nothing. Uh-oh. They're out. Seth right there. Hmm. We could semi-automate this. Not really, but... If we have an output here, it will steal a bit from these others. And some crushed stone will make it down here, but at least we don't have to worry about that as much. We do need wood, however. Good, good, good. And then steam power, finally. Another big research. But then we'll be able to replace that turbine with the standard boilers, which is good stuff. I like how AI Industries, uh, it slows down the start a little bit, I guess, so if you're just in it to go to Mega Base quickly, then it's probably like, ah, oh, why are we doing all this burner stuff? Um, but I rather enjoy the idea of starting everything, burning by coal, and you're hand inserting everything, and then you have to slowly unlock the ability for your factory to be automated. And it's, by any standard, this factory is very simplistic, but compared to how it was uh, a few hours ago in gameplay time, not really that much, hour and a half, uh, it's much more automated now. And I like that feeling of progression. Kind of right now, our goal is to basically get everything electrified and basically create a little mini bus. It doesn't have to be a giant main bus, but a little mini bus that has copper and iron on it. And then we can use that to build science packs or maybe not necessarily make finished products, but at least we can make motors and that sort of thing. Just not having to deliver or babysit the uh, assemblers for the purposes of making science packs would be kind of nice. Seems like it's just because the way it's randomly set up, it's, it's only sending the finished product up there as opposed to the crushed stone, which is uh, a convenient convenience. <laughs> Unintentional, but it works. We do need to have some coal on hand. 
so we can make more flares. Hmm. Oh. I was like, why isn't it going? It's because we have no wood. Let's see, would we benefit from six slabs? Seems like it's going. And yeah, we probably would benefit. Pretty close to 100%. Let's stick with it for now. And that's the end of this episode. On the next one, we're going to upgrade to steam power and then get started on red science. Thanks for watching.